I walked my friends Zoe Butterfield and Jamie Dawes through the first-floor function rooms of Wynn's home, the mansion built by my mother's ancestors on Morrow Island. My stomach fluttered with equal parts excitement and anxiety. I cared so much what they thought. In the old main salon, the round tables and accompanying chairs were set out, seating for one hundred of Zoe and Jamie's nearest and dearest. Fourteen crisply ironed white tablecloths sat on a sideboard, ready to be put into service. Another sideboard held the salad, dinner, and dessert plates, lovingly designed and handmade by Zoe, on which we'd serve the wedding feast. The day was beautiful, not always a given in early June in coastal Maine. The sun shone through the French doors, bathing the enormous room in a rosy nuptial glow. Zoe sighed. It's perfect. I nodded enthusiastically, hoping my smile looked affirming. In truth, I would have been happier if this wedding, in which I was doing triple duty as the maid of honor, wedding planner, and venue manager, had come later in the season, after we'd had a chance to work out some kinks. Zoe was my closest friend, as well as my boss and business partner at Lupin Design, her ceramics company. Jamie had been a neighbor and good friend since our kindergarten days, waiting for the yellow school bus that took us to Busman's Harbor Elementary. I loved him like a brother and wanted only the best for him.